What's up guys? So, um, as you see, the title of this video is, uh, yeah, I am going to build a pallet company and I'm going to document the whole thing exactly the way I did it. And I'm going to show YouTube exactly how I did it. Now, um, you probably have a couple questions like, what about your diabetic test your company? How are you going to do that when you have that going on? And the, qu the answer is most of, I have a manager and six people that run that company, virtual assistants, and then also have um, a business partner who's a, um, uh, he's a business partner in California and he manages all the inventory and keeps everything on point basically on the ground in California. Also, um, so short, in a short story, um, most of my business is managed by itself. Okay. So, uh, you know, my business isn't failing. I'm not like jumping ship. Um, you know, I've actually been very interested in the pallet business for years now. Uh, probably been about two years. Um, I took a big stab at it in about a year ago and, um, it just didn't work out. You know, I had a business partner and, uh, we just didn't see eye to eye on things and, uh, it just didn't work out. So this time I am actually back in the States. I'm going to be here for three months and, um, you know, so my goal is the next three months is to learn about this business as much as I can actually being in the field, talking to customers, uh, making deals happen and, you know, really hitting it hard, you know, doing at least like three to four hours of door knocking a day. Um, and then also, you know, I'm going to have, uh, you know, appointment setters already. So, um, this has been in the works already. I actually have a virtual assistant right now that business that is building a database and what does that like really mean uh basically she is building the ideal companies that we would work with we are going to be doing brokering so you know we have wholesalers and then now we have um you know buyers so we have buyers and sellers we're building a database of buyers and sellers and that's the goal um goal is to have a couple of appointments per day and run them and then also do some door knocking as well. So you guys are going to see, uh, you're going to see the results. Um, now, why am I doing this? Like literally I could just keep building my diabetic tester business, you know, probably in a year it will double in size. Um, I'm doing 2000 to $3,000 with that and that's going very well why am i you know going to another company why am i going to another industry and really um i'm trying to diversify my uh my businesses because um you know i plan on what i plan on doing the same exact thing is building the sales and the marketing part of this business and then Getting, I think Walmart's here, um, and then getting virtual assistants to run it and possibly have people on the ground. But the goal is to do enough wall, uh, door knocking and do enough appointments in the next three months to the point where I can do this anywhere in any state and start, you know, brokering deals in 50 states. Now, what is the purpose of me doing it local? The purpose of me doing it local is talking to people um, face to face, getting real sales experience out there in the field, um, and just being in the process versus um, versus uh, like uh, you know doing it from afar. Now. Um, when I was in Colombia, I was actually building this business and, uh, you know, I was generating one to two appointments per day. And, um, and anyways, it, that didn't work out. But if 
I was doing the appointments, I feel like, you know, I would have definitely closed them a lot more. And, um, but that's what I'm talking about. I want to actually talk to the people, you know, shake some hands and, uh, you know, really get a feel for this whole thing, you know, and that is my goal. So I'm going to take you guys along. And this is, uh, I just want to be very clear. If you know who I did business with, uh, on this, on this pallet company before, um, you know, I had, there's no shade with me and my prior business partner for this business. Absolutely no shade. I love the guy. He's in my mastermind and he's awesome. You know, he's like, he's like a brother to me. So absolutely no shade. But now that I'm in the States, you know, I can actually go and be there physically and do a lot of things that I couldn't do while I was in Colombia. So what is the strategy? Build a database, set appointments, make notes, close deals. Very simple. Um, in, I would say in a month, in probably in about two weeks, I'm going to hire another virtual assistant to build the database and then also look for new leads in the Tampa Bay area, in the St. Petersburg area. So, uh, you know, I'm going to have them as my sales force and managing all the back end stuff. Um, how much is it going to cost to hire them? Uh, I do $3 an hour for them. And then, um, if they do, if they do, uh, you know, if they close a deal or if uh, a deal happens from what they set me up on, then um, I'm going to give them commissions and I haven't quite figured out what the commissions are because I've never done a full deal, but I know that there's uh, certain deals that you can do that can generate thousands of dollars on just one deal. So I'm not afraid to pay people. Now, what will this turn into? Well, to me, what this will turn into is a pretty much a sales force just like I did with the diabetic test strips. It's going to be a sales force of people generating leads, providing a great customer service and just really, uh, exceeding all expectations. Because one thing that I learned from flipping diabetic test strips is that you cannot do it all alone. Most people, um, are afraid of hiring, so they never end up hiring. Um, you're looking to uh if you need if you're looking to hire i have a course on hiring very very simple technique on how to do it with facebook and then a couple other sources too um okay what will i be doing well it's funny i will be using the same principles that i teach in my crm course to build this business i'm using the same now, how will this, how will this be different? Well, I'm going to take the sales and the marketing stuff and I'm going to implement it, um, into this business. And you guys are going to see this along the way. But, um, you know, one thing my accountant was like, dude, why are you doing this? And to be completely honest is, uh, I started out as a salesperson. So I get a lot of juice from being in sales. Like I just, that's just a passion of mine. I love closing deals. It's just what I love to do. And, um, as I started building, you know, when I first started building my diabetic test strip business, it was awesome. You know, I was like closing deals every single day, you know, getting that dopamine hit and, you know, making, you know, $500 a day, $600 a day by myself. And then, then it turned into, okay, now I need to hire one person to at least help me. So I don't go crazy with all the different things I have to do. So then it turned into, okay, I'm going to hire one and then it turned I'm hire another one. Then it turned I'm hire another one. Then it was another one. And I'm really proud to say that I have a very, very solid sales crew and customer service crew that I hired from the Philippines. You know, they're like, they're like a family, you know? And, um, you know, I pay them very well. They make a lot of money for, they make more than Americans, you know, some weeks. 
And uh, I bet on average they do make probably a pretty decent salary per week um, compared to Americans. You know, I'll pay them a thousand dollars each, you know, because they're literally closing deals like that, and I'm making enough money to where I can really um, pay them, you know. So I really believe in rewarding people for their work, you know, like, I, like that's one thing about me is like, I'm not stingy with the money because I want people to win and I want people to love what they do and enjoy what they do. And if you're not winning, then, um, you know, it's really hard to enjoy. So, um, yeah, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a sales force and a customer service force and um, I'm gonna do the same thing as I did with the test trips you know and I'm gonna very much teach them sales and marketing for this industry I'm gonna be learning myself too and uh, yeah and so um, I'm really excited about that so that's just an update for me I know I haven't really made videos as of lately, but um, uh, let's see what are some other updates. You know, <sighs> um, I'm going to hold back on mentoring people, and I will be pushing. I will be pushing my course uh, for others to purchase um, and bundle so that it's affordable, and you can get the CRM course, how to build a database, um, sales and marketing, and then. Um, the virtual assistant course, get your virtual assistant to run the CRM and run that whole marketing leg. And then three is I have the diabetic test trip course. And, um, you know, eventually we're going to have the bundle that co those courses are all finished. I'm just, um, still looking to make uh, you know, just finish the back end stuff. I think it's all finished. It just needs to be uploaded. So, uh, yeah, so really that's that. But what I'm going to show you guys is how I built this, uh, brokering palette course. And, um, you know, the vision and the goal is to learn on the ground as much as I can in the next three months. And obviously, uh, you know, and then also, you know, leave, Tampa with $20,000 of reoccurring revenue with this business. Now, is it going to be possible? I hope so. Um, I'm going to have a team, so it's going to be a lot easier than if it was just, you know, me running the whole thing. So, uh, you know, I'm going to have a team. Um, but also, too, like, you know, just another update from my diabetic uh, test strip. Um, Company is I'm going to definitely have a I'm gonna hire two new people. Uh, one's gonna be a sales rep, and the other one's gonna be a social media manager. And yeah, so I'm very excited about that. I know when whenever I hire a new rep, sales rep, I always add about I always add about three thousand dollars a week to the goal itself. So. Um, our goals are usually $21,000. And then, so if I add a rep, it probably going to add about $3,000 more a week. Okay. So, um, yeah. And, uh, that's pretty much it, man. But I just wanted to, um, I just want to show you guys what's possible and show you guys how I'm going to do this pretty much for free. At this point, it's, um, you know, I like to do stuff like this, so it'll be very interesting. You're going to see me talking about, you know, how the appointments were, how the door knocking was, what I did right, what I did wrong. And you're going to see all that, you know, so um, that's it. You guys are going to come with me, so get ready. And if you're in the Tampa Bay area and you can help me anyway, with some kind of palette uh, connection or somebody I can work with or somebody that needs palettes or somebody that uh, needs palettes or they're looking to 
sell their pallets or get their pallets off of their property. You know, hit me up, man. Hit me up. You know, I believe in collaboration and how, uh, you know, if I can help you in any way, I will definitely try to do that. So that's that. And, uh, you know, I'm excited for this whole thing. And yeah. So see you later.